Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on representation of relation in discrete mathematics. In the previous video, we have already discussed about how we are representing the relations in discrete mathematics by using two ways. One is relation matrix and second one is diagram of a relation. So these are the points that we are discussed in the previous video. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel. Now we can go for example problems on representation of relations in discrete mathematics. The first problem is let A is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 and B is equal to set of P comma Q comma R comma S comma T are two finite sets and R B A relation from set A to set B which is given as this one. Write down the relation matrix. Okay, here the given data A is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 and B is equal to set of P comma Q comma R comma S comma T. Let R be a relation from set A to set B. A contains the elements set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 and B is contains the elements P comma Q comma R comma S comma T. Okay. Now the relation matrix R can be represented by using M suffix R is equal to M suffix IJ is equal to 1 if A suffix I comma B suffix J belongs to R 0 if a suffix i comma b suffix j does not belongs to r here a suffix i comma b suffix j is a order pair the first coordinate represents the a suffix i contains the element of set a b suffix j contains the element of set b if a i is related with b j then we can say that its value is 1. Suppose if A suffix I is not related with the B suffix J, its value is equal to 0. Okay. Now, so this can be represented by using this one. It is very easy to write. So this is a set A and this is a set B. Set A contains the elements 1, 2, 3. Set B contains the elements P, Q, R, S, T. Now, what are the relation R? 1 comma Q. 1 is related with the Q. Next one, 2 is related with the P. 2 is related with P. 2 is related with the R. Next, 2 is related with the S. Next one, 3 is related with the P. Next one, 3 is related with the R. Next one, 3 is related with the T. So, this is a relation R. Okay. Now, we have to write the M suffix R. So, here, row side, we have to write elements of set A that is 1, 2, 3. Column side, we have to write the elements of set B. P, Q, R, S, T. Now, so if 1 is related with the P, we have to write 1. Suppose 1 is not related with the P, we have to write 0. First, we have to take 1. 1 is related with which elements of set B? So, 1 is related with Q. So, its value is 1. 
Next, only one is related with the only Q. The remaining all the elements are zero because one is related with the only Q. So that one Q we have to write one. One is not related with the P. One is not related with R. One is not related with the S. One is not related with the T. Next one. Two is related with which elements? Two is related with the P. Two is related with the R. Two is related with the S. Two is related with the P. We have to write one. Two is related with the R. We have to write one. Two is related with the S. We have to write one. But two is not related with Q. So that we have to write zero. Two is not related with the T. We have to write zero. Next one. Three is related with the P. Three is related with the R. Three is related with the T. So three is related with the P. We have to write one. Three is related with the R. We have to write one. Three is related with the T. We have to write one. But three is not related with the Q. We have to write zero. Three is not related with the S. We have to write G. So this is called as a relation matrix. Okay. M suffix R is nothing but relation matrix. From that relation matrix, we have to write the order pairs. R is equal to 1 is related with the Q. 1 is related with Q only. Next, 2 is related with which elements? P, R, yes, T. So, 2 is related with P. 2 is related with R. 2 is related with the S. 2 is related with the S. Yes. Next one. 3 is related with which elements? 3 is related with P. 3 is related with R. 3 is related with T. So 3 is related with P. 3 is related with R. 3 is related with T. So from the relation matrix, how we are writing the order pairs? Okay. So this is the answer for the first problem. Okay. Now we can go for the second problem. Let A is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and let R be a relation defined on set A as R is equal to set of 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 3, 3 comma 1 and 4 comma 1. Draw the diagram of relation R. Okay. So here set A is equal to so 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 R B A relation from set A to set A. Set A to set A. So R B A relation defined on the elements of set A. Okay. So R can be defined by. So that is 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2. 2 comma 3, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 3, 3 comma 1 and 4 comma 1. Okay. Next one. Every element of set A we have to write one circle and name that circle as corresponding element. Okay. So how many number of elements are there in set A? Four elements. Okay. First circle for element 1. Second circle for element 2. Third circle for element 3. Fourth circle for element 4. And name this circle as 1. And name this circle as 2. And name this circle as 3. And name this circle as 4. So this is called as vertex 1. Vertex 2. Vertex 3, vertex 4. Now, we have to draw the edge between two vertices if these two vertices are related to each other. Okay. Now, first one, 1, 3. So, 1 is related with 3. That means, vertex 1 is related with the vertex 3. 
so that we have to draw the edge between 1 and 3. Edge starts at vertex 1 and end with vertex 3. We have to draw the direct, directed edge between 1 and 3. That means 1 is related with the 3. Edge starts from vertex 1 and end with vertex 3. Next one. 1 is related with 4. That means vertex 1 is related with vertex 4. So that edge starts from vertex 1 and ends with vertex 4. Next one. 2 is related with 1. So vertex 2 is related with vertex 1. Edge starts from vertex 2 and ends at vertex 1. Next one. 2 is related with 2. That means vertex 2 is related with the vertex 2. So that we have to draw the self loop at vertex 2. Because vertex 2 is related with the vertex 2. Next one. 2 is related with 3. That means vertex 2 is related with the vertex 3. So that we have to draw the edge starts from vertex 2 and ends with the vertex 3. Next one. 3 is related with 3. So vertex 3 is related with vertex 3. Edge starts at vertex 3 and ends at vertex 3. So that we have to draw the self loop at vertex 3. Next one. 4 is related with 3. That means vertex 4 is related with vertex 3. So edge starts from vertex 4 and ends at vertex 3. Next one. 3 is related with 1. That means vertex 3 is related with vertex 1. So that we have to draw the edge starts from vertex 3 and ends at vertex 1. Next one, 4 comma 1. So 4 is related with 1. That means vertex 4 is related with vertex 1. Edge starts from vertex 4 and ends at vertex 1. 4 comma 1. So, how many number of order pairs are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 edges are there. For each and every order pair, we, um, there is only uh, one edge in this diagram of relation R. So, this is called as diagram of relation R. Okay. Suppose this diagram is given. How will you write the uh, relation? Okay. From this diagram only, how we are writing the uh, relation R? So, relation R is a set of order pairs. First, I am taking vertex 1. So, vertex 1 is related with the vertex 3. So, edge starts from 1 and ends with vertex 3, 1 comma 3. Next one, 1 to 4, 1 comma 4, edge starts from vertex 1 and ends at vertex 4, 1 comma 3 comma 1 comma 4. Next one, now we can go for vertex 2, 2 is related with the 2, so 2 is related with 2, edge starts at vertex 2 and ends with vertex 3, vertex 2. Next one here, 2 is related with 3 so that edge starts from vertex 2 and ends at vertex 3. Next one, 2 is related with 1, edge starts at vertex 2 and ends with the vertex 1. Next one, 3. 3 is related with 3 so that self loop is there. Next one. 3 is related with 1, edge starts at vertex 3 and ends with vertex 1. Next, 3 is related with 3, already we have to draw. Next, go for vertex 4. 4 is related with 1, edge starts at vertex 1 and ends at vertex 1. Starts from vertex 4 and ends at vertex 1. Next, 4 is related with 3, edge starts from vertex 4 and ends at vertex 3. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 
from this diagram we have to draw the order pairs from this order pairs we have to draw the diagram of relation r okay so from the relation matrix we have to draw the order pairs from the order pairs we have to draw the relation matrix okay so here the question can be asked in two ways okay so relation matrix is given draw the order pairs next model order pairs are given draw the relation matrix so in both ways the question can be asked in the second type so relation relation is given that means order pairs are given then draw the diagram of a relation r second model diagram of a relation is given from that one we have to draw the order pairs okay in both ways the question can be asked so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please uh, click on the please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivasarao don't forget subscribe my channel name so divela srinivasarao thank you